What's up guys, it's Town Nick here, and welcome back to another episode of Throwback Thursdays. Today we're going to be taking a look at Super Monkey Ball 2. Now, I remember playing this game at like Chuck E. Cheese or whatever, and um, I remember having a pretty good time with it. Spent like a good amount of tokens on it. But uh, yeah, I always thought it was an arcade game, but apparently it's on console also, and I'm playing it right here on the GameCube. Um, this is the second game, not the first game. So, um, I'm just gonna go with story mode. But yeah, this game really should be only on an arcade because you have a timer, you have like a certain amount of continues, and I think even credits too. Um, I mean, this game is not as much because it has a story mode, but the first game is, uh, more like an arcade game where. It's just basically a timer and there's no story mode and just a bunch of levels. I'm pretty sure it's the same it was the same thing for the uh the arcade version. I remember the uh arcade version like had a banana as like the joystick. Which was pretty cool. But yeah, I also remember playing like other games like Chuggy Cheeses. Like there were uh, like a couple of Dance Dance Revolution games I think I played. There were like some basketball games that I played. And then he had a ski ball. But this is like the only one that I guess I could play on a console and show you guys. But knowing my luck, there's probably like a ski ball game out there that's based off of Chuck E. Cheese's. I'll probably like play a game that is like Chuck E. Cheese's because like there probably is one out there. I think I've seen like Game Grumps play it. There's like a Chuck E. Cheese game. So instead of going out to the uh instead of going out to the arcade you just go buy the game and you have the arcade on your TV I guess. Alright, so we're just kind of speedrunning through these levels here. I'm talking about speedruns, though, they're actually. The speedruns for these games are actually pretty insane. Like, I've seen, like, people do, like, crazy tricks in this game. And this game is actually really hard, to be honest. And it's like. it's This game is also made uh, by the same people who made, um. F0 GX and that game's already just as hard but instead of racing game yeah that this level is just as easy as like the first level but yeah all the story mode uh, levels are pretty easy but um I think it's like in the main game or something like that where some of the levels are pretty hard there's even like a level that's actually like a GameCube itself. But I think it was like replaced with like a dice block for uh, some of the other consoles like Xbox. And I think even PS2. I don't remember if this is on the PS2 or not, but I think this is on all consoles, so I'm pretty sure it was on the PS2. See, so yeah, like I said, these first levels are really easy. Like in the first game, uh, there was no story mode. It was just beginner, intermediate, and expert. I think even master, after you beat expert, you unlock the master class. Similar to uh, F-Zero GX, where it's basically the same thing. You have to beat the lower classes in order to unlock master mode. But in here they add a story mode with more tracks. But I think even these tracks are in the uh, main game. But yeah, basically the story for the um, for Super Monkey Ball 2 right here, which I skipped over, is uh, this guy just steals all the bananas and. 
they like the monkeys go after him because he has all the bananas and then yeah it's basically a, it's basically like Donkey Kong Country where you have this one guy just take, takes all of Donkey Kong's bananas and then they have to go beat him up but like in this game like the villains actually kind of scared of you because like first you like destroy his uh wow I messed up on the same spot but yeah, like, first you destroy, like, his blimp, and then, like, he's in the water, and he's like, please don't hurt me, and then, like, they go after him underwater, and it gets pretty intense, actually, like, I feel like we're the bad guys, and he's just, like, stop, don't hurt me anymore, I don't want the bananas anymore, just leave me alone. But instead, that the monkeys go after him. Cause like I don't even think he actually stole any any of the bananas. Cause it didn't look like he was. It just looked like he was about to like go and do that. But instead, he didn't. Like he was flying over with his blimp to the like monkey island. And he's like, bow before me. Give me all your bananas. And those who hate me will starve and not get any. And then they just go after him. But I don't even think he took any bananas, to be honest. But I think maybe he did and just scatter them across these levels. And that's why we see these bananas. But yeah, someone like Donkey Kong should have helped out. And they're all from Dole, so like, they can just tell Dole to stop reducing bananas and giving it to this one monkey. And I'll show you the cutscenes uh, after I beat this level to get to World 2. So I think this is the part where they attack his blimp. In the cutscenes, they have voice acting, and by voice acting, I just mean the monkey is going, ew, ah, ah basically. Yeah, I never grew up with this game though. Like I said, I just had the... I played it at Chuck E. Cheese's and stuff. I think a couple other arcade places also. But, yeah. I remember playing like, uh, this one like dinosaur game at uh, my local arcade place called In The Swing, and, um, it had, like, it was, like, kind of like Pokemon, where you got, like, cards from the machine, and you'd use them to battle against, like, CPUs, I think even other people also, like, sometimes you would get a rare card, like, you get a card every time you played, which is pretty cool, I think I still have one or two left in my house or something like that. Alright, so here's the bad guy. The bad guy really does remind me of, like, one of those monkeys from, uh, Spongebob, where they, like, test monkeys for, uh, Sandy's experiments. Like, there's one monkey that looks exactly like him. But yeah, as you can see, just voice acting is just monkey speaking. Yeah, it doesn't even look like he stole any bananas. Like, it's not like his entire blimp is covered in bananas. Like, it's just all machinery. But yeah, his blimp kind of reminds me of uh, King D.A.D.'s blimp. I think I'm just gonna skip the rest of this. Yeah, so he goes in a volcano. I don't really know why. I wasn't really listening to the story, but... Whatever, we're going to the volcano with him. Like, you would think the volcano would be, like, the last world, but it's world two. I, just, I guess it's kind of unique. Like, you'd think, like, the second world is, like, the desert world. Like, in almost every new Super Mario Bros. level. Or a new Super Mario Bros. game. 
which I'm already failing. But I guess this game is like, yeah, this game's hard, so. As for World 2, it's a lava level. But World 3, I think, is a water level. So, still kind of going with, um, like Super Mario Brothers. Because, like, in New Super Mario Brothers, like, all the worlds, it, it's just, the order is grass world, and then there's a desert world, then water world, then, like, snow world, and then there's, like, a forest world, and then there's a sky world. Actually, no, there's, like, a, a ruins world, and then there's a sky world, and then lava. Like, literally, World 7 in almost every New Super Mario Bros. game is just a, uh, Sky World. Like, they can't think of anything else. They, they can't even switch up the order, which is so stupid. Like, I get, I get that the first world should be, like, the planes and everything, and the second world should be the, um... And the last world should be the volcano, but like they should switch it up for the other things. And wow, that level was just as easy as the first one. I had so much trouble on this level, though, to be honest. Like you just have to make the per make the timing perfect. But um, yeah, I had so much trouble with that level, but I did it on my first try right there. I guess it just shows that I progressed. All right, so this one you don't even press anything; just let it roll, basically. You're going pretty fast. Like, you would think that going this fast in a ball, like, this monkey would probably die. Die of, like, puking all over in this ball. Because we're going, we were going, like, 70 miles per hour before. I mean, now we're only going 50, but still, that's quite a bit. It's faster than, like, most uh, vehicles in Kirby Air Ride. Which is a game that I've been playing recently. Cause like at first I thought Kirby Air Ride it wasn't really that good, but like I've been playing uh, City Trial for quite a bit, and I've been liking it actually a lot. Like to be honest though, like there, it's not really much of a game. It's kind of just like Smash Brothers, but like a racing game. But um, like City Trial is really fun, and I've been playing it for like three days now. Alright, so let's get that goal pull. Really? But yeah, that monkey before the main villain, like he literally looks like one of the test monkeys in uh, Spongebob. I'll probably like in the description, put like a link to an image of him. So he, li he literally looks like the exact same thing, and probably SpongeBob took the inspiration from this game because they look exactly the same. I think they even have the same like molecule on the uh, same eye. So they basically just copied and pasted it, except made him 2D and in Spongebob and had a different voice, I guess. Or had a voice at all, I guess, because he was just speaking monkey in these cutscenes. So I guess over the five or so years, he learned to speak English and other languages too, I guess, because it aired, I think, in different regions. Yeah, I don't really know what these bananas are going to. I guess, like, for a high score or something. Because, like, you're not going off alive. So, it's not like you get 100 bananas and you get an extra life. And it's not going off of retries. Because you have infinite retries. Basically, like, Rayman Origins or Rayman Legends. But yeah, right here. Another easy level. Just let it roll. And this time we're going 94 miles per hour. It's probably faster than most Mario Karts. 
It's not as fast as F Zero GX, but I'd say it's probably faster than uh than Mario Kart. So I think Mario Kart Double Dash goes like at most 60 miles per hour. Actually, no, I take that back. They go at like 100 probably. Cause like when they get shot out from that cannon DK mountain, I remember they go pretty fast. All right, so this one's pretty cool, I'd say. Of course, I mess up. Oh, what the heck? I got. I thought I got slammed down. Not slammed up. Wow. <laughs> I was like, what was taking so long? Like, can I. Oh, yeah, I forgot that I can go back here. So, yeah, these button things, they're not in the first game, but they're in the second game. They can either fast forward, pause, or, uh. Slow down the. Games. Uh. I guess speed, you could say. I think all three of these gates go to the same thing. But for some reason, there's three of them. I don't really know why. But, yeah. Cause, like, I don't think you can skip levels in this game. You can in the uh, main game, but here, you can't. Alright, let me try and... Nope, okay. Try to get there as fast as I can, but let's go ahead and put it at normal speed. Maybe I can do it now. Or maybe not. Oh, wait. Uh, nope. The background kind of reminds me of, like, something from, like, Pokemon. Like, uh, like, Groundon's area or something like that. Or, like, Charizard. Like, something from, like, Pokémon Tournament. Where, like, Wow, okay, you're just gonna push me through the ground. That's so realistic. But yeah, like, you can see, like, a giant, like, dragon, like, breathing fire over there. It kind of reminds me of, like, Charizard. Or, like, kind of like Typhlosion, I guess you'd say. Really? Why? I mean, the more realistic thing would be... Like monkey brains splatter everywhere. Not the fact that I go right through the go right through the floor. Like that's more realistic, but going right through the floor Like getting launched forward would make would be more realistic physics, but no, instead I just get launched below the floor. Alright, let's try this again. Put the. Are you kidding me right now? Okay. There we go. Somehow that works. Alright, just gotta be careful here. Don't wanna be in the shadows. There we go. Alright, so last level of the world. This one's kinda tricky. I remember I got stuck on it like a couple times. You really just have to have patience for this one. But like then again, you can't really You don't have all the time in the world because you do have a time limit, so there is that. Making it even more of an arcade game. And I bet you all those retries that I'm doing are basically credits. Like for the arcade game. Be like, would you like to continue? Like 10, 9, 8, 7. And please answer credit. Like that's probably the Chuck E. Cheese version that I am used to and the one that I play as a kid. Cause I think I do remember that. That if you lose once, then it's basically game over. And you can't change the camera angle, which I feel like is really annoying, but 
then again, you only have one joystick in the uh, arcade, so it's not like you have two joysticks, one for the camera and one to move, like here on the GameCube. Really? Oh, you can Okay. Why don't you just use those magical retry flying powers to get across? Like right here, just fly up and get to the other side somehow. But like I said, you have to be really patient for this level. And you can already see that because I've already died like, what, five times? And like that's a slow version. Like there's a there's a fast forward button right there to even to make it go faster. Which is even more ridiculous. So now I think we got it. Just have to get across here. But yeah, once we see this cutscene though, like, th that's where things get a bit out of hand and it seems like you're the bad guy. So I'll just let this cutscene play. So he tries to set a bomb here. How would the baby? How would the baby know what a bomb is? Like, baby is like what? Two years old. And so he's gonna like sacrifice himself. Not really, but he's gonna punch the bomb out of the volcano, and surprisingly, it hits him, and destroys his blimp. Like, yeah, right here, the bomb hits his blimp. His blimp explodes, goes in the water. They're all scared and everything. And, like, they're running away from us now. And this is World 3. I'm just telling you, this is World 3. And... They're running af away from us. This is not, like, the final world. This is World 3. And they're running away from us because we basically are sabotaging them. Like, I, I, I don't get it. Like, why... Why go after him? He's leaving. He's go he's going away from your monkey island. And you're you're going to let him you're not going to let him do that. You're going after him. Like what's the point of that? Anyway, that's going to be it for today guys. Thank you guys all for watching. Make sure to like, comment, subscribe, and stay tuned for more Throwback Thursdays right here on Tonic. Bye.